Yesterday I went up Mount Karaoe, today I'm going downhill. I've come downhill from where I'm camped and I'm descending into the Toto Gorge. The Toto Gorge is absolutely spectacular. It's an amphitheatre, a natural amphitheatre, ringed by cliffs on all, all, all sides. And this is the only way in. This grassy path takes me up to the road and I've come down it about, about 300 metres perhaps. Very, very slow progress because that's as, that's as steep a slope as grass can bear and, um, and particularly treacherous underfoot. The reason I've stopped here on the way in is just to notice the change in the vegetation. On the top it's windswept and barren, uh, but down here it's lush and almost tropical. Um, just to my right here there's a valley with the Toto stream going through it and you can see just how lush everything is here. Then I'm going to descend on in a few minutes, going down to the bottom and out to the beach eventually. There I'm, I'm expecting to see some very significant signs of uh, ancient Maori habitation. I'm expecting to see some flat places where the huts were, some storage, storage holes, mizzens, and probably some, some lines where they cultivated the Kumara. But I'll see what I see when I get there, and I'll tell you all about it then. I've just finished dropping down that very, very steep little ridge into the stream. You can hear the stream beside me now. And I'm, I'm actually inside the, the Toto Gorge here, and this is absolutely tropical. Uh, just to give you an idea, the van is parked up there. I'm not even halfway down yet. Whew, I'm just... Just panting a bit, this stuff's hard to move through. Walking this grass, you don't know if you're going to go down a foot or up to your chest. But this place is absolutely extraordinary. Been down here the whole afternoon filming. Just going to show you this, this little pinnacle here. Just so where you see where I am. It's up that cliff. Right on the very top there. There's a viewing platform. My van's about 20 metres from there. My way up is to follow this valley up and then uh, actually I can pick it out. A uh, grassy track through the bush rising sharply to the left then it turns sharply to the right. That's the way home. Probably going to take me about an hour from here. Now I'm going to put the jug on and put my feet up. Strawberries and cream I think. Just want to try and show you a little something of what I've been filming out here today. If I just scan around the, the hilltops here, first thing I notice is right over there, just over this immediate horizon, about 30 metres away from me, there's a flat patch. There used to be a hut on there, some Maori used to live there, and right here, this is what I'm more interested in, doesn't look like much, but you see that little V-shaped v notch? Well here's the natural lie of the hill, running down. Right. And right there in it is a notch. That's because that's where people walked. And for centuries people walked up and down through this piece, getting down to the beach and going up to the hill. And that's what wore it through. Now I know that's not natural. If it was natural it would be caused by a watercourse. And that there is going directly across the hill. It's not going up and down. Any watercourse would be made running up and down. That's a man-made feat. Or rather, feet made by Maori. As I was down in the gorge, I said uh, I pointed the camera up at the viewing platform, which is where I'm stood now. I said I'd uh, give you a look from up here to see just where I was. So I spent most of the day on that green patch in the centre of the view, and on the way back, I stopped at that rocky knoll and took some pictures there and shot the video there of this spire in the background. Quite a long way down to there. It took me about an hour and a half to get down because the, the, the footing's just so tricky. But actually coming up was a lot easier. Maybe I'm just used to get, going uphill after yesterday's outing. Anyway, that's another big day for me. Time to go and sit down, have a cuppa, and have those that uh, bowl of strawberries and cream I've been talking about.